Casio edifice has carved a niche for itself in the watch industry by blending high quality with affordability. The brand is part of the larger Casio family, known for its commitment to producing high quality quartz timepieces that appeal to a wide range of consumers. Edifice, in particular, focuses on creating watches with a sporty and sophisticated aesthetic, often incorporating advanced features and technologies. In this comprehensive review, we'll get into the key features of the model EFRS108, exploring its wearability, craftsmanship, and its subtle homage to the iconic AP Royal Walk. Hi everyone, my name is Ed and welcome back to Riz Saga, a channel about affordable watches. Today's episode is about Casio Edifice. Today's EFR S108 has a compact case size of 38mm, which might suggest a smaller presence on the wrist. However, the watch surprises with its lug-to-lug -lug length of 44.5mm, excluding the end links that add an extra 5.5mm. These elongated lug-to-lug -lug dimensions contribute to the watch wearing larger than its normal size, leaning more towards the feel of a 40mm timepiece. The integration of the bracelet seamlessly connects the case and further enhances the perceived size on the wrist. One of the standout features of this model is its slim profile, measuring just 8mm in thickness. The slimness combined with a lightweight construction makes the watch almost imperceptible on the wrist. The integrated bracelet plays a crucial role in this, ensuring a comfortable and snug fit. It is an ideal choice for those who appreciate a watch that complements their style, without being overly conspicuous. The water resistance of 100 meters is well suited for daily wear, offering protection against splashes, rain and even swimming. The absence of a screw-down crown might raise concerns for some, but the snap-on case back provides sufficient water resistance for most everyday situations. It is designed to be a reliable companion in various environments, combining style with practicality. Powering this particular model, it's a Mayara quartz movement, known for its accuracy and reliability. While not a high-end Swiss movement, the Mayara Quartz ensures precise timekeeping, making the watch a dependable choice for those who prioritize accuracy and low maintenance. The Sapphire Crystal adds an extra layer of durability, offering resistance against scratches and ensuring long-lasting clarity on the dial. The dial is a captivating canvas. Upon first glance, the dial appears to be a study in simplicity. But closer inspection reveals thoughtful details that enhance its overall appeal. The golden seconds hand is a striking feature that immediately draws attention. In a sea of stainless steel, the warm hue of the seconds hand adds a touch of luxury and elevates the watch's visual appeal. The hour markers, represented by elongated rectangular indices, are precisely applied, creating a three-dimensional effect. The hands, characterized by a sword-like design, are well proportioned and provide a clear indication of time. The use of polished surfaces on the hands and indices adds a depth to the dial, catching and reflecting light in different ways. One intriguing aspect of the dial is the date window, which at first sight appears almost non-existent. The date aperture is subtly integrated at 3 o'clock, keeping the overall symmetry of the dial. The absence of a distinct border around the date window contributes to the dial's clean and uncluttered look. The legibility of the dial is commendable with a contrasting white of the hands and indices against the background ensuring easy readability in various light conditions. The incorporation of loom on the hands and indices is not a strength of this watch, as the loom is weak and fades quickly when not exposed to light anymore. 
The stainless steel construction of the case and bracelet exudes durability. The attention to detail in the finishing, including polished and bright surfaces, adds a touch of sophistication to the overall design. From my past experience with Casio Adifis, they are designed to offer a harmonious blend of style. One cannot discuss the AFR S108 without acknowledging its subtle homage to the iconic Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. The Royal Oak, introduced in 1972 by Gerald Genta, is celebrated to its octagonal bezel, integrated bracelet and visible screws elements that have become synonymous with luxury sports watches. This Casio edifice draws inspiration from these design cues, paying homage to the real Royal Oak while maintaining its unique identity. The AP Royal Oak's initial design, attributed to Gerald Genta, revolutionized the luxury watch industry. Genta's genius lay on his ability to combine sportiness with elegance, creating a timepiece that defies traditional norms. The octagonal bezel, visible screws and integrated bracelet were bold design choices that challenged the status quo and their enduring appeal is evident in the countless watches that pay homage to the Royal Oak's distinctive look. Casio Edifice, while clearly inspired by the Royal Oak, manages to establish its own identity within the homage category. As you run your fingers along the bracelet, you can feel the smoothness of the folded links. The folding technique employed in the bracelet's construction make it appear more refined than one might expect at its affordable price point. From the same category of the bracelet, the clasp is a press clasp, a practical and cost-effective solution that doesn't compromise on functionality. This EFR S108 is a noteworthy addition to Casio Edifice's diverse lineup. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.